first off, gigs. Everybody who registers for ISA Connect is submitting mostly for the gigs. Um, lately, we've been getting a lot more. Uh, we've been getting major companies who are asking us to go ahead and post a gig on their behalf. We're not uh, broadcasting who the company is, who the person is, the executive. You'll see it as ISA verified on the site, uh, usually in the title, sometimes in the body of the description. But um, yes, gigs are there for you to submit. Um, most of them, not all of them, are paid, but some are opportunities that are deferred pay. Um, we have some that are unpaid. You know, you might have a short that uh, uh, company you know, only has $10,000 to go ahead and produce this thing. And, and that's a great opportunity, right? Like, um, as a submitting to gigs and getting that first project made, even if it's a short and you're not getting paid, people complain to me about this sometimes that there's, um, well, why are you posting these gigs that are unpaid? Writers should get paid. Yes, writers should absolutely 100% get paid. But sometimes it's just a stepping stone into a bigger picture. Right, literally and figuratively, you get your first short made from a, a, a unpaid writing gig, and then somebody sees that. This is exactly what happened to me. I shot a short out of my own money. Nobody just paid for it for me. I used whatever money I could scrape together with my friends, and we made a short that got into some festivals, which led to uh, the writer of Revenge of the Nerds seeing it, which led to his interest in some of my other work, a pilot that I had done, which then he sent off to uh, his manager who then repped me, which got that pilot into CAA, and then that got hip pocketed over at a major agency. So one thing leads to another leads to another. So submitting to unpaid gigs right off the bat is even that alone for $10 a month that we're charging is worth it because you're getting an opportunity to get your work made. So that's a benefit. Obviously, we want you to, to get paid. We want you to earn a living. We want your scripts to go on to be Oscar winners and all that kind of stuff. So um, we've now been building relationships. You know the ISA has been growing. And the relationships through our development slate and our development uh, team have just expanded significantly. Major studios are now asking us to post gigs on their behalf. And so you'll see those. Again, I mentioned that they'll be listed as ISA verified, and you'll, you'll, you'll want to look for those. But it doesn't mean, again, don't. Don't ignore the other ones because everything is a stepping stone. Use all the opportunities you possibly can. That's what the ISA is here for. Provide as many opportunities to break in because just like me, you could have one thing lead to another, lead to another, and then boom, you run the ISA. I don't know. That's an option. But So um, anyway, uh, submitting to as many gigs as you can, trusting us that we verified and vetted those, there are others on companies that we don't always know, um, and we're looking to you to make sure if do your due diligence. If you don't think the company is legit, you just let us know, and we'll check them out even more. Um, but there are a lot of gigs posted, and sometimes you know some people sneak through, and we they promise one thing that they don't actually deliver, and that just that that happens. But we're a community, so let's work together to make sure that we get the best for everybody, even if it turns out not to be the gig for you.